Hey, air signs, and welcome to your weekend love reading. This is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 7th, 8th, and 9th. Holy hell, is my nose itchy all of a sudden. You guys, this energy is very strong this weekend. Let's see what we got coming at you. All right, the three of wands in reverse. You're feeling like... Um, you're getting tired of waiting for one, could be waiting on a fire sign, but doesn't have to be. Um, you're wondering where your blessings are. Where is the, uh, where is it? You've been waiting for something. Somebody, um, could be wanting to come see you or you to them. And there's a delay. Um, yeah, you have the 10 of wands in the reverse too. So you're going to end something you're, you're no longer, um, Taking on the responsibility of something. Yeah, Nine of Swords. This is something that you've thought long and hard about. Um, you've put a lot of thought into it. You've had sleepless nights, anxious, depressed. Uh, yeah. You know, tears at night when you're laying in bed. Um, you just can't, you just can't continue to keep um, carrying all this weight, all this burden, um, that's affecting you. Yeah. You no longer feel like this relationship is a blessing. Um, and you're, you're thinking about moving away. You're, it's still all thoughts though. You're almost there. You're almost at a completion point, but, um, not quite yet. Who is air science dealing with? Okay, yeah, three of cups. Wow, three of cups, three of pentacles, and three of wands all in reverse. This is a uh, most definite third-party situation. Uh, that's why you have so much stress. Um, you could be seeing 333 three, three, a lot of places. Uh, but this third party is ending. And you're going to be the one that ends it. That's what you're so stressed out about. You don't know who to pick. You don't know who to go with. Um, you don't know which direction to go. Yeah. King of swords in reverse. You're out of balance. Um, you're too much energy is in your space. What's the outcome here? Ace of pentacles in reverse for the outcome, not getting a fresh, uh, a new beginning. Wow. Okay. Yeah, for your outcome, you have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Swords, and the Two of Cups in reverse. So at one point in time, you could have felt like this person was your everything, um, the person that you stepped out on. Uh, you've been cold to them. There's not much communication. They're kind of blocking you from um, communication, and that's what you're stressed out about. You don't know what to do. You're very confused, a lot of confusion surrounding this. But you are going to um, take a step back and take a breather. See things from all, um, you know, weigh the pros and cons of what to do. Um, because right now, you're not getting your blessing from the universe because you're not with the right person. So, um, for this group of you. But you need to put this third party to a stop. It's causing you sleepless nights, stressed out. There's there's a lot of cold air. Yeah. Four of Pentacles in reverse. So you've been very stingy with your emotions. Haven't invested in either person because you're stretched too thin. Eight of Cups is in reverse on the bottom of your deck. There's, there's a lot of um, emotion going on here. You could have... They could be finding out about this third party this weekend. Because there's a lot of sadness going on. Um, I do feel the three cups that are tipped over in this picture is one for each one of you. You're all three emotionally drained. Um, everyone that's involved in this situation. But one of these two people are your soulmate because there's two cups still standing. But um, nobody is happy in this situation at the moment. Um yeah, you're going, somebody's blocking you. Um, one of these, uh, one of these people, one of these third parties is blocking you. Um, and they're not wanting a new beginning with you. They are emotionally drained and they could be cutting you off. No longer investing in you either. 
Let me get an outcome card. What's the final outcome of this weekend? A lot of heavy energy in this reading. Yeah, Princess of Wands. You're not going to get, you're waiting for it to hear from a fire sign possibly, um, but you're not going to hear from them this weekend. And it's bringing you to a crossroads. It's time to choose, pick one or the other um, or neither. It's time to move forward. It's time to stop uh, bringing in this energy into each other. Um, because when you have sexual interaction, it does bring your, uh, the other person's energy into the other, the third party. So your bottom of the deck is healing family issues. It's time to, um, sit down and figure out what's going on at home with your spouse, with your partner, whoever it is that you are, um, have a home with. It's time to figure out what you're doing there and heal those issues. And your other card was heal yourself or free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. This affair, this third party has totally consumed you because you're constantly trying to hide your tracks. It's time to free yourself. Take back control of your life. There could be addictions here as well, but not necessarily. And your final card is trust. So the situation is calling for you to have faith. Have faith the universe is going to help you um, move you into your right path. Um, but it's and trust your decision on who you're going to pick because this um, third party is just trapping you in energy. So it's time to time to free yourself from this. So um, that was a heavy reading. I apologize. Uh, that got intense, but um, hopefully that didn't resonate with very many of you. Um, but if it did, it's time to sit down and figure out what you want. It's time for you to be honest with both people and to pick a path and start walking it because this uh, sharing of energy is just draining you and everybody involved. So air signs, I hope you have a good weekend. Um, if this didn't resonate with you, make sure you check your moon rising and Venus and hopefully next reading won't be so heavy. So, all right, guys, as always, I send you love, light and God bless.